Hi, today I'll be showing you how to draw um, a cartoon character called Gaston from The Beauty and the Beast. So the first thing you want to start with is his face. So I'm just going to start around here. And I'll just draw, start drawing his ear. And just curve around like this. So I'm just going to put a little more harder and just do a little mark inside and another mark here. And you want to draw his neck, which is just around here. The next thing you want to do is start to draw his hair, which is just here. <coughs> so I'm just drawing down and a bit more up around and it does the cover of his face and I'm going to come right back here and I will draw this part which will be his chin and his chin is pretty big let it go in just a little bit and come back out just like this. So I'm just going to change that just a little bit and then it goes up and this is his hairline remember. So we're going to do his cheek and join it back up. So this is his big chin, he has a big chin and you just want to draw a line here. Then what you want to do is draw another line here and these are all details then you want to draw his smile so he has a kind of cheeky sort of smile and we want to start drawing his nose so his nose is just here and it starts off with a line another line here and then it goes up just here and come out again like this and it, it goes into a frown so this is where his eyes gonna be and his eyes kind of hidden just here and it's a small eye just like this and then you wanna go ahead and do the other side so the other side you leave a gap and you start just around here and it's a line curved a little bit and it goes up and just across like this and then you want to draw his eyebrows which are pretty big and they start pointy at the end come out big into a small a little bit and it goes up a little bit as well just like this and then you want to do the other side which is going up again and just over like this just there so now you've done that you're just going to draw a little bit of a line here so you can see it's just very concentrated and everything and now you have done that we will draw his neck on this side and we will draw some of his top so it comes down just like this goes down again this is his neck and you're just going to take it from here and it's just going to curve all the way down just like this so now you want to draw this side and of his clothes so we're just going to draw his colour and it goes down and curves back up just like this and comes down like that. So now I'll be drawing his shoulder. So the shoulder comes here, just there and it stops here and it goes over. 
So he has a pretty big shoulder. So I'm just going to rub that off and just do it quickly again just to make sure it's perfect. Just like this. There we are. And then it goes out just like this. So now you're going to go out a little bit there and then you're just going to do a circle round like that. Then you'll be drawing a couple of lines here and we'll just start drawing his hands, well his fingers, which are pretty big. So they start off like this, then they go down and you can curve it there. Then you can do the next one. So they start off like this. This one's slightly taller. So it goes up and back down and just curves a little bit here. And then you want to curve it here also. Then you want to do the same here but it's smaller than that one. So it's just going up and across, curve it over, and the last one is the smallest, which is just like this, and that's it. So from this part, this one, you want to draw down, and then you want to rub the end ends of it and just go in like this. So now you want to draw his arm which starts just around here on that finger goes on top of the arm and comes back down and across and then you want to take this side and draw his arm coming in again and I gotta see that the arms are pretty big. Um, so make sure you draw them nice and big. And then it comes all the way up, just like this. So I'm just gonna do it slightly bigger. There we are, because he has a big wrist and he's very chunky. And it goes all the way here, and you're just gonna turn it. Do his hand. Actually, it's not his hand, it's his arm. <laughs> Sorry. So we're going to stop there for just a second. And we're just going to finish off by doing this side also. So before we get on to this side. So you're going to start off by his chin just around here. And you're going to draw down. Then you'll be drawing down, up, like this. Then you want to take it from here and go all the way across, just like this. This is its colour also, just like this. Then you want to be drawing from here a line. This is the crease of his arm. Then from just around here, you want to draw down, because it's pretty muscly. And just across, just like this, and like that also. And we'll just go ahead and draw his arm. So draw it kind of bumpy because it's pretty muscly like I said. And then you want to make sure it goes round. And I'm just going to do that again. So it's like this. Goes down, out. And you take it from here. And we're just going to round it up. So I'm just going to make it slightly smaller. Don't want his arm to be too big. We want it just to be right. And then from here you want to draw the line. So you can see it's his arm. So there's his muscles. And then it goes round onto his elbow and just across just like this there we draw a line for a little bit of detail and just a smaller line just like this 
and once you have done this part this is his arm it's just gone in draw the line so I'm just gonna fix it up a little bit there so this arm's overlapping this one so now we'll just draw the t-shirt he's wearing so it's just going down like this and this side is just here and that's all I'll be just drawing up to so just this part so I just want to do his hair quickly also so we will be drawing it so his hair is wavy and it goes over so this is his hair and it's just at the back here we have a ribbon inside his hair and it's pretty fluffy and curly his hair and it just comes up across here just like this and there we are so there's Gaston I'll just do that chin mark again just So I'm just working off a little bit of line, so we're just going to stop here. And this is what he looks like, without colour at the moment. But first, before I finish this part one, I will just do the squares, which is the fingernails on the character. So I'm just doing that to make it look a little more realistic, because he has got fingernails. There we are. And that's what he looks like so far. So I'll see you back in part two to finish off Gaston with some colour. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more videos. Um, so thank you. Bye.